KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. Let's review the beautiful day we had because we're not going to have another one like this for quite a while. We hit the 70s. Yeah, a lot of spots. Santa Cruz, Scotts Valley. We had middle 60s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and a beautiful day along the peninsula. We had some high clouds coming in, but we had sunshine. We had mild temps and uh, light winds. 72 here in Salinas, low 70s throughout the entire Salinas Valley. So I really do hope you got out over the weekend and, of course, uh, today if you even had a chance to. Uh, get in on some of this 72 in San Jose 68 in Hollister warm temperatures too in Southern California uh, mid 70s in Bakersfield and 82 in Palm Springs 50s up in Lake Tahoe but that is quickly coming to an end next cold front already here I know it's hard to believe we had such a beautiful day and there was this front lined up it's another atmospheric river right now it's moving fairly slow but it will pick up speed and it will move through our area late tonight and early tomorrow morning into about midday. So that's the timing here on the next front. And you can see the moisture tap does go a ways back. Uh, and again, that is that river of moisture that we've been talking about right now really too many times this winter because we could use a bigger break from the rain, but it's just not in the cards. And you can see how wide this swath of moisture really is. Uh, with these rivers, uh, there are areas where it's really concentrated right here, and then there's kind of a break, even though there's still tropical moisture. That's not the strongest of it. There's a cold front here, too. Jet stream energy and areas of low pressure. Hawaii all the way out there. You're getting familiar with this picture. Uh, and really, this cold front late tonight and tomorrow, not really the biggest deal. Certainly, if it was just in the middle of a winter with a normal winter, it wouldn't be a big deal at all. It's this next one that could cause us some problems after we, again, Remoisten up everything. Not that it's dry out, but uh, you know these rains coming in uh, tomorrow morning will moisten the soil right back up. And then this batch right here uh, looks a bit stronger, so we'll fo focus in uh, really on that more than anything. Here's your cold front for tomorrow morning. Your morning commute's wet. It's tricky. It's windy. It's uh, another one of those mornings uh, tomorrow morning. Now by afternoon, a good chunk of this has already passed us by. We're just back to some showers. Area of low pressure moves in. Uh, but again, here's this secondary low pressure system. Is there a chance it could stay a little further offshore? Maybe just brush us. Of course, there's always a slight chance of that, but I don't really see it happening right now. I got light to moderate rain moving in Friday morning, and you can see that a lot of this is actually headed into Southern California from about Point Conception southward. But it's going to be a very close call whether this lines up from about you know, Big Sur, halfway down Big Sur to about Point Conception, or is it really over the Monterey Peninsula, Santa Cruz, and all of Big Sur? Either way, we're getting in on this one, and moderate to heavy rain possible through the day on Friday. We could pick up several inches in all areas, but especially concentrated, again, down over the Soberani burn scar area. I'm, I'm particularly worried about that area, the whole entire Santa Lucia. So, uh, you know, stay prepared. This one is coming in with some punch. Rain moving into Southern California by Saturday morning, and then we take a little bit of a breather over the weekend. There'll be clouds, a little ridge of high pressure builds in, just keeps the rain off pretty much right through Sunday. But you can see Sunday late in the day, more rain third system queuing up, and uh, that looks like it's another cold front with the heaviest of it on Monday morning north of us, but then moving through as a cold front Monday into Tuesday. So there's a lot more to go with this. You can see the rain tomorrow morning overspreading the area, figure on longer than average morning commutes. We haven't probably had an average commute in a long time, so you're kind of used to this. By tomorrow noon, the fronts move through. Tomorrow afternoon, some showers, and then here comes that rain moving up from the south again on Friday morning, pretty much going most of the day on Friday. So Friday looks very wet, although the winds won't be a big deal with this. They'll get gusty at times when each front uh, tonight and tomorrow morning, some you know 10 to 20 mile an hour winds, maybe a gust of 30, then the wind shifts and the winds lighten up uh, for tonight again 40s and 50s chance of late night rain meaning you know four five in the morning the wee hours and then cloudy uh, with rain and wind tomorrow highs near 50s to low 60s the worst of it should be during the morning commute and then by noon we should be back to showers through the afternoon into tomorrow night again temperatures will be down but still not that cold still low 60s just not the 70s like we had today about 60 in seaside 61 in monterey and middle and upper 50s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So your KSPW eight day forecast plays out like this. Rain tomorrow morning, showers tomorrow afternoon. Again, uh, more rain pretty much all day on Friday. Some showers, just a chance on Saturday, dry on Sunday, and then some rain on Monday, showers on Tuesday, and more rain on Wednesday. So it's another one of those yeah. you know, five or six day stretches, yeah. which will accumulate and add up and add to issues. Yeah. Right. Oh, and the Salinas River we're watching this time around, it's Spreckles. 
for the possibility of getting into minor flood stage. That's, you uh, know, we don't yeah, want that. we'll keep so, you posted. All right. All right.